Hello and welcome back. I just want to say quickly that I've received tons of love for this Reddit thread that I posted on the uh, React subreddit, inviting people to do this series and to provide me feedback if possible. And I've received a lot of lovely comments, subscribers, and some really useful feedback. Uh, I just wanted to say to everyone, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's continue with our project. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna create two buttons in the profile section, a logout button and a edit details button. So let's do that. All right, let's go to our uh, text editor and let's go to profile.js. And here where we are not loading and authenticated at the bottom here after this div, let's add, so first let's add the logout button, which is, um, we've already we've already imported the logout um, user function or action. So let's do that. So let's use it. So here, let's say, um, I'm gonna surround this with a tooltip as well. And the title of the tooltip will be logout. And the placement will be at the top. And here we're gonna have our icon button. And the on click for this, on click is, let's call this this dot, um, what do we call it? Handle logout. And let's close it. And inside of here, the icon that I'm going to use is called keyboard, keyboard return. And it's going to have a color of primary. Let's close the tag and let's, what's, is there an error here? No, it's fine. Let's bring in the icon. So here under icons, let's do import keyboard uh, return. Oops, import keyboard return from material UI slash icon slash keyboard return. All right, and this handle logout, let's create that. So handle logout is actually just gonna call this, um, this dot props dot logout user. All right, did we actually add that to our, yeah, we have that. We have that here, we've imported it and it uh, should work fine. Let's save, let's look at our app. Did we get an error? No, cool, so we get this uh, arrow back and if we click it, we actually get logged out. All right, let's log, log back in. So, do user at email.com, one, two, three, through six. All right, we're back in. Now let's create a button for editing these details. And for this, I'm gonna use the um, the dialogue. If we go to component demos dialogue, and uh, let's try this one, no, not this one. The one with a form, yeah, this one. So we're gonna have something like this, a dialogue that has three fields, one for the bio, one for the location, and one for the website. And if we do like, it's gonna be save instead of subscribe, and that will send a request to our server. And the way dialogues work is, is that you're gonna have a button at the, a button at the top uh, it's this one that triggers um, the dialogue to open and then you're gonna have the content of the dialogue But since this will have a lot of code, let's actually put it in its own component. So here uh, Under the logout button, let's say let's add this um, component called edit details, which we haven't created yet Let's go up here and let's import it in so edit details from, we go back one level, we go to components slash edit details. All right, let's go to components. Uh, actually, it's in the same direct, uh, same on, this, on the same level, so we just do like this. So here, let's create a new file called edit details.js, Pascal case, of course. And here, let's do RCE tab again. Come on, there we go. <laughs> let's remove this export. Uh, let's take these three imports because we need them. Because we're gonna need fragment as well. Gonna need prop types. Let's let's do a, uh, a styles here. Const styles is. We're gonna need the global theme. So let's take the global theme and return. Let's just spread the theme for now. 
we need to add anything, we're going to add it later. And we're going to need, of course, Redux to get our details from the server and actually show the values on that form. So uh, let's say import connect oh, from React Redux. And we're also going to need an action that we haven't created yet. Let's actually create that action first, not data actions. In user actions, let's go to the bottom here. Let's do export const. And this is going to be the function that sends a request to edit our details. Let's call it edit user details. And you will take user details. And you, it needs dispatch. So let's take dispatch as well. And here we start by dispatching an action with the type loading user. Is it? Yeah, it's loading user. And here we send our request. So axios.post and it's going to be to slash user and it's going to take the user details uh, object, not post, dot then. Here when we get our response, actually we don't need the response because we're just going to call get user data from here. So we dispatch get user data and here dot catch if we have any error let's console log it all right this is done let's save this and here let's bring it in so import edit user details from we go back one level redux slash user actions slash not just user actions actually slash actions yeah slash actions slash user actions all right uh, let's connect our component let's cut this edit edit details and let's say export default connect and we're gonna have map state to props oops to props and here we're just gonna have one action so let's do an object like this with the action edit user details and here let's do with styles we pass in styles and then for the second one we pass in our edit details component all right let's create our prop types as well so let's do edit details dot prop types equals uh, the first is the function so edit user details is a prop types dot func dot is required uh, we're gonna have we're gonna need classes as well prop types dot object dot is required and I think this is it yeah okay so here we're gonna need uh, to initialize a state and in our state we're gonna have three fields uh, bio which is gonna be initially an empty string website an empty string and location an empty string uh, we need a, a boolean for open which is going to be initially false because by default it's it's closed the dialogue and here what we need to do is that we need to once this component is rendered uh, once it mounts we need to get the details from that we have of this user and put them as the values of our input so let's say if our location says uh, Los Angeles California we want to when we open the dialog in location it will be already written there so that the user can edit it or change it and if we don't have anything of course it's going to be empty so here in component did mount actually we need to create our map state to props const map state to props it's gonna it's gonna be a function that takes the state and returns the following and we can actually get credential just credentials we need so we do credentials it's gonna be from state dot user dot credentials all right so here in component did mount we need to do this dot set state and we need to set the bio and we could actually in our credentials not have a bio so we need to check for it otherwise we're going to set it to undefined so what we need to do is we need to do um, this dot props or actually let's de destructure the, the credentials const 
credentials equals this dot props and here what we need to do is that we need to say credentials dot um, bio so if we have so a ternary operator like this if we have them if we have a bio let's say uh, so we just say that again so the value would be this else it's gonna stay empty so let's copy this let's add a comma let's paste it paste it twice so let's replace here control D and say website and control D and say location all right so when the component is loaded and mounted it's gonna set these values so let's create our our dialog so here instead of this div I'm gonna use fragment oops it didn't close did we not bring it in we did don't know why it didn't close there uh, so fragment all right so inside the fragment so first thing is gonna be our button which is gonna be inside the tooltip and the title of the tooltip is gonna be um, edit details placement as usual on the top don't know why these tags are not being closed is it because I didn't import them I think because I didn't import these things let me import uh, the stuff that we're gonna use so import tooltip from material UI slash core slash tooltip uh, let's copy this we need icon button um, actually we can just bring in uh, some stuff from here so let's just bring in all this stuff until here let's paste it before so we're gonna need these icon button and we're gonna need uh, the edit icon so let's say import edit icon from material UI slash icon slash edit I'm here I'm just gonna say icons here I'm gonna do redux oops redux stuff and here say MUI stuff all right so now if I do this yeah it closes the tooltip and here we have our icon button icon button the on click uh, let's call it uh, handle open and let's give it a class because I, I know we're gonna need to, to style it later of class classes dot button classes actually let's destructure classes as well so let's do const classes equals this dot props let's close this and inside of here we're gonna have our icon which is the edit icon with a color of primary let's close it actually let's create our handle open and handle close functions so let's do handle open is takes nothing and it sets the state to open so open will be true and actually here as well we need to get the um, the details uh, we need to do this but let's make this into a function of its own because we we don't want to repeat our code let's call this uh, set user details to state or map makes more sense and it takes the credentials because we need them and here let's paste this and it so here we get the credentials and and we call it with credentials and here as well we need to call it so uh, let's do like this and we can just pass it this dot props dot credentials and it will do the same let's create the handle close which takes uh, yeah it takes nothing and here we just say this dot uh, set state open is false all right um, I think this is it okay so here we need to 
after the button we need to put our form uh, but here let's create uh, let's actually do the dialogue and the dialogue will take the open the open would be this dot state dot open and is the on close callback or or font method this would be the this dot handle close and I'm going to give it a property of full width, which will make it take full width. And I'm going to give it a property max width of SM. Um, if you see, there's a cool example here. Let's close this. Uh, the full width dialog. And if you change here, you can actually customize the width. So I'm going to do the SM. It seems the most, you know, the one that makes the most sense or the one most appropriate or for application. Don't know why these tags are not closing. Let's close the dialog. Pretty sure I imported the dialog. Yeah, I did. Excuse my text editor, guys. All right, so here we need the dialog tech um, title. So dialog title. And this will say edit your details. And under, under here we put dialog content. All right, I close this one. Cool. Form. And the, here we'll have a form, but it's not going to have a submit action because our dialog actions are going to do that for us. So here we're going to have uh, text fields. So I'm going to have text. I'm going to say text field. And oh, actually, no, I need to give it some properties. So first we'll have a name. So the first will be a bio. We'll have a type of text. I have a label of uh, bio with a capital B. And I'm going to give it a property of multi line, which will make it a text area because this is a bio. So it will need some, uh, some more space. And we give it three rows. And let's give it a placeholder. Like it will, it will work like a hint. So here, let's say a short bio about yourself. Uh, let's give it a class name of classes dot remember we have access to our global theme so we can do classes dot text field and it will style them the same way the um, sign up and login text fields are styled so here we'll give it a value as well this will be this dot state dot um, bio and an on change which we haven't created yet will be this dot on change and let's give it full width so it takes up the full width let me close this let's copy it and paste it two more times but from these two let's remove the uh the multi-line and the three rows because these will be just normal text fields and this will be website and the label is website and text holder will be uh your personal slash professional professional I can't spell website <laughs> this dot state dot website and same for the rest and here will be the location so location is the name and the label is location with a capital L and here let's say let's just say where you live and here let's say dot, this dot state dot location and yeah that's fine let's create the on change actually it will be a generic on change that we have already written so let's just copy it from from here from the login or from the sign up but did we say this will be actually let's call it um, handle change change because you want to stick with the same names that you've used across the same project so that it makes more sense so let's paste this handle change here and we also need at the bottom here we need our actions our dialogue actions which, which will be outside the dialogue content so here let's say dialogue actions which will be the buttons at the bottom of the dialogue and we'll have two of them so the first one is a button and it has an on click and this will be the close button so this dot handle close 
and this will be the button if people want to cancel. Let's give it a color of primary and let's call this cancel. And let's copy it, paste it. This is this will be the save. So this will be the one that sends the request. And let's give it the handle submit, which we haven't created yet. Um, okay, so we have handle change. Let's create handle submit. Uh, will be handle submit. Um, it won't take an event because it's not based on a form. And uh, let's do const uh, const user details equal. Let's get the bio from this dot state dot bio. Let's copy this twice. This will be website and this will be location and here we just need to call our function so this dot props our action edit user details and pass it our user details and here we actually close the the dialog after we submit so this dot handle close like this and I think this is it for this dialog let's remove this dialog text because we don't you actually use it and let's save all files and look at our app okay map user details to state is not defined map user details to state oh it needs to go before the other ones so that they'll know what we're talking about oh Silly mistake. This dot map user details. All right. Let's look at our app. Cannot resolve icon edit. It's first of all, it's edit icons, but edit i or just edit. Yeah, I forgot the slash. All right. So we get the edit button. So let's say I wanted to change London UK to, let's say Paris. France and I wanted to remove hello I'm user and say I don't know I am the user so let's save loading cool we get the new details Paris France and I am the user but I want this button to be on the right so let's go here under theme let's say button we gave it a class button yeah we did so we're simply gonna say float right and we save cool we get our button on the right and it says edit details when we hover it and it works just fine if we remove this text we see our placeholders yeah all right this is it for this video and thank you for watching and thank you for liking and subscribing and everything i appreciate you and i hope to see you in the next one bye